Morning, y'all. Woo! It is a cold day here in Tulsa. I got my tarp over here. Blowing out of control. Let's see if we can just. Oh. Y'all can't catch the whole scene, but right here next to me, I got a foosball table with a tarp that's about to blow up in my face. Good morning, Jacob. Little cup reporting for duty. Whoa. Or Bustelo Cafe in my cup. Woo! Tell you what, it is a cold day. Overcast and cold here in Tulsa. But nothing like tomorrow. Supposedly we're about to get a little cold front coming through. It should be uh, out there with you right now, Josh, right? Is it snowing in Denver today? They're expecting snow, predicted snow here in Tulsa tomorrow. They said as much as six inches. I don't know if I believe that. Well, we're about to get right into it. Just let a few more people come in here. Good morning, Rhonda. So if you're just joining me, feel free to click the little like button down there, share button, and let your friends know you watch and get your daily dose right here on Three Points. All right. Let's not wait too much longer. Let's got, we got stuff to do, right? Let's get into it. Hello, good morning, what's up everybody? Today is Tuesday, February 4th. We're live here in Tulsa, Oklahoma. My name is Nathan Gray and you're watching Three Points. First off, yesterday in Kenya, a panic broke out at the Kakamega Primary School causing a student stampede that left 13 children dead and at least 39 more students seriously injured. Tragedy is being investigated, but so far there is no known cause for the panic that occurred around 5 p.m as students were leaving school for the day. Moving right along. Yesterday in Commerce, Texas, a shooting in a residence hall at Texas A&M University claimed the lives of two people and left one, a child, wounded. There is currently no reported information on the shooter suspect, which likely means they have no clue. But investigators did say they believe this to be a targeted attack. And lastly, Last night in Iowa, the Iowa DNC held the Iowa primary caucus, and although they still haven't determined an official winner, there is one clear loser, the Iowa caucus and the DNC. In an overview, Bernie came in first, with Mayor Pete in second, and Elizabeth Warren in third, clearly leaving Biden with no strong showing of support. The collapse of the results uh, the results count was largely due to the use of an app instead of paper ballots this year. The app was created by a tech firm called Shadow Incorporated. The Iowa Democratic Party bought the rights to the app for $60,000 last year. Both the CEO, or uh, actually all three, the CEO, the CEO, the COO, and the product manager of Shadow Inc., not so coincidentally, all worked for the Hillary Clinton campaign in 2016. The corruption is deep in the DNC and we call for the complete overthrow of the Democratic Party and for the, the chairman, Tom Perez, to resign immediately. That about finishes off the board for today. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Until next time, you've been watching Three Points.